Just as I bought, you know, after the meeting with the seller, I made an offer and he accepted. Of course, this is subject to a uh, surveyor's opinion at the end of the day. If there isn't any issue, I'll buy the boat tomorrow. If there is, I'll meet the seller again this afternoon and discuss the price. In the meantime, um, the surveyor came in around 8 a.m. to catch the tide time. He was very kind uh, to do the whole check in sea land rather than hard, uh, because if I would take the boat um, to hard, that would cost me 355 pounds. We can see from his footsteps, he's completed um, his um, on-site work of the boat uh, and now he's working inside of the boat. I am so lucky that I am working with this surveyor on this boat project uh, because he has a sharp eyes, sensitive ears and experienced hands. He also teaches me uh, a lot while he's working. I found this a great opportunity to learn uh, from the right sources and increase my knowledge. I'm able to ask questions, anything about boat or engines, and he answered my questions patiently. Again, um, I found that uh, this communication way uh, is very beneficial for me um, as an inexperienced um, person about the boats. And every time I met him, my knowledge is increased. So let's go inside and see what have, what is he doing inside. In this section, he's look at the uh, boat or not. There is a uh, resistance and looseness um, and also there is some wetness is coming from the hole. He thinks that it's coming from where the anode and hole meets uh, but he thinks that it's not a big major issue at present. He's checking a uh, fuel tank uh, valves and he sounds okay, he's working okay, that's great news. Um, He's now um, checking a uh, propeller shaft um, rubber seal. Um, it is softened than usual, what he told me, uh, but it is okay. He advised me uh, to change this uh, rubber seal in the future when I've got the opportunity. Of course, I will do that. Unfortunately, this cannot be uh, done on the sea. This can be only done on the heart. So I'm planning to take the boat on the heart next summer um, where I can do things that can be only done in the heart like changing the boat or not uh, changing the rubber seal maybe a uh, gel coat paint or um, looking at the uh, seacocks whether it needs to be repaired or um, replaced um, so I'll do this next summer um, cockpit uh, locker seal rubber seal is not um, in good shape it needs to be either changed or replaced and it, it is on my to-do list. On the other co uh, cockpit locker, there is some water. We believe that it comes from the hatch. Um, so this water needs to be taken out and he advised me that a good pain is a good idea and also uh, the, a good pain can take the, uh, the smell of the locker. So again, this is my to-do list. The head seals are okay. He's happy with that, so uh, I am. Uh, in here, uh, he's checking the deck um, with his hammer. Um, the sounds is okay, uh, what he told me, and he's happy with the uh, deck conditions. He probably checked with the decks in moisture measure in the later on uh, this afternoon. We are moving on to the inside of the boat and checking the engine. He's explaining to me in here uh, that how to change the engine oil and how to maintain the engine. Uh, so um, I am um, listening him very carefully uh, and asking him questions and, and then um, learning from him basically, which is a great opportunity. On this section, we find an issue because the seller has changed the plywood under the mass area. When he fits the new plywood, we believe that uh, the connection with mass area and new plywood is not uh, has not done properly um, for example um, there are some uh, screws is missing on the top of the uh, plywood area uh, which we can see uh, now um, uh, so I will put put, put uh, back in um, and also there is a gap uh, or space 
between plywood and mass area on top of the mass area as you can see behind the cables so this needs to be filled in uh, with the thick epoxy resin um, so that um, it cannot damage the the, the um, bulkhead uh, and and so that we can move to boat another marina of course this is a temporary solution in the long term um, he advised me to put the another uh, layer of the uh, marine plywood in that section so that that section become stronger in the heavy weather sailing conditions uh, that section observe the uh, stress or pressure from the mast we also look at the the other side of the plywood and whether we can see uh, movements or cracks there's uh, some small cracks uh, but it is okay what he told me so far he told me that the offering price and boat project conditions are met each other and I'm happy to buy the boat and hopefully I'll come back tomorrow and buy the boat tomorrow morning.